name is Joe. I'm Josh. And tonight we're playing a new to us game. Yeah. Called Tekinu or Tekinu, Te Tekinaku. Tekinu. Tekinu, Obelisk of the Sun by Boarding Dice. This game stresses me out. <laughs> so you know, you guys can't see the game right now. Wait, can you see this? No, you can't see the obelisk here yet. But no. There's a really cool 3D obelisk. I'm afraid to touch it because it's hard to get back in there. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, let's flip over this so you guys can see what's going on here. A lot. This board is huge. We had to zoom out. This is taking up almost all of our... Well, we don't have a lot of room left on our table anyways. Oh, with everything yeah. else going on, <laughs> all the playable area. It's taking up the entire play area, yeah. And some, like, we had to, like... As you can see, it's kind of spilling over into our green-pink screen area we got going on over here. Yeah. Um, this is a... Action selection game? Dice drafting dice game? Draft, yeah, dice drafting. That's that's probably right. On your turn, you're going to choose one of these dice. You can either take the resources that the dice is associated with. Yep. Or take a god action. Yep. That is associated with the god in that area. Yep, which is then linked to kind of, you can see, like, that god is over there, that god's up there, that god's over there, here, there. Yep. And they each do individual things. Like, some of them are resources, some are upgrading the ability to do dice, some are building, some are getting technology. Mm -hmm. it's, a lot is going on. Yes. Watching a video on this was painfully long. It was like an hour long video. Yeah. And then trying to read. Just to teach, not even like playing through yes. the game. Yes. So. And then to read these instructions, it's like out of order. Josh hasn't read instructions <laughs> in a long time either. So. <laughs> and, and it was, it was painful. I mean, it's a 32-page instruction book, yeah. and it's not a light instruction book. I mean, there's not many pictures. Usually, setup is usually you know one page. Setup for this is a uh, one, two, three, four pages long. Yeah. So that says um, how this game is gonna go. So we've already got most of it set up here. You notice there are some cards here, kind of in the middle. That's just the beginning draft. Yes. For us. I think it's just the extra resource you're gonna start. So first player will draft one card. Second player will draft. So two cards and then yep first and then draft one, one card, card. So and then first? and then we'll yeah I'll, I'll go first and then we'll do these cards afterwards yeah forever the first player becomes yep um yeah I guess I'll go first I don't even know what I'm doing yeah. um so just so everyone knows we have a board in front of us as well I've tried it well there's little things oh. here oh Joe so this is what our our personal player boards look like too. So we have statues down here at the bottom. We're going to be hopefully building those throughout the round. Yep. We have buildings that we can build as well throughout the game. Resource um, management. And then there's resource trackers. Well, these aren't resource trackers. These are production trackers for the different resources in the game. Uh -huh. So there's like parchment, bread, uh, limestone, and I forgot what the last uh, stone was. Another type of stone. Granite. Granite. Thank you. And what it is is when you take, so say I take a black, this black die here, I would, I could take it for four granite because it, the black die is associated with granite and yep. the number is four on it. But we all start with two as our limit of production, so I could actually only take two until yep. I increase my production. Throughout and the then game. at the end of that, if you take a resource, you increase it by one at the end of the. Hmm, okay. I'm at pretty sure. <laughs> okay. We'll have to look it up because. So yeah, lots going on in this game, um, but we need to get through the initial draft first. We just want to make sure you guys yeah, yeah. see that yes, too. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, there's a lot of setup, a lot going on, but we'll try and explain everything as we do each action. As we go, because it's going to be uh, fairly confusing. I'm going to give five resources, I guess. Sure. Yep. I mean, that's better than one of each, right? I, sure. Sure. I'm not sure what this is here. So we have, there's a god symbol, one of the gods. Yep. A three white. Uh-huh. Where's that god at? Maybe you get to take that god action with a three white die. That's Osiris god action. What card is that? Uh, number two. Is that a pillar tile? No. No, it's one of the starting cards. Then I think you lose a worker happiness. That's not. Or no, a you don't lose the worker starting happiness. Starting cards. Yep. Which one is that? Two. Perform an Osiris God action to construct one building, limestone or granite quarry only. 
is if you had taken a die with a value three, you do not suffer any loss of happiness. Okay. So I can. So pretty much you can. So I can construct three here with either in this limestone area or granite area, one of these two spots, for free right now. If I took yes, this. and you'd put a building out there. So I put a building out there, so I don't even have to pay the cost of the bread. Uh. I'm guessing not. Form an Osiris God to construct one building. Do not suffer any loss of happiness. Hmm. Because normally you have to pay for these, right? I don't know. When you, whatever this yeah. is. Here. Or is that when the time comes up? Because it's got a timer. Yes, I think that's so it, when the secondary timer, you timer to, comes you up. You have food. Yep, yep. You need to feed your people. Okay. Feed your people. So let's increase, I don't know which one of these is better, I guess. Granite or limestone. I don't know. I don't understand. <laughs> Yeah. So it's just going to increase. I'll, I'll get a granite or limestone, whichever one I play this on, and then it's going to increase both of those, um, my production. Yep, lines. yep. Hmm. That is. Um. Let me see. Where is granite used throughout this game? I would assume for building, but I would assume limestone is also used for building, right? Uh. Hey, Space Dandy. In flames. I'm. N no. <laughs> uh, big game. Also, I'm not sure if Joe's mic is on. It almost sounds like Josh's mic is picking up Joe's audio. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, no, Joe. Oh, no. Let me check my mic. Thanks, Space Dandy. Test. Okay. Oh, I heard that. That was too loud. Hello. Hello. I don't like your voice. Oh, wait, no, it's on. Okay. Josh is just that much louder. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So what row are you doing? Three. I'll turn myself up a little bit. Sorry. Advance the production marker on your player board by one of each of the indicated resources. Also receive one of depicted resources. Yep. I just don't know what's better, granite or limestone, I guess. But I'm not sure what we use them for throughout the game. So I'll just go with limestone. So I get a limestone resource. Yeah. yeah. And then these both go up by one. I gotta take my resources, I just haven't yet. Where is limestone? Right here. I turn it up a little bit, hopefully that's a little better space dandy. Okay, so that's my first starter card. I get a second one though. Yes. So is this one three population and two happiness? Yes. I mean that well, seems good. Yeah, three and then two. Yeah. Unless I need to feed these people. <laughs> oh, that's you. I'm pink. Yeah. I have a mix around there. Hmm, do I want that or do I want more resources? I don't know. I want to take more resources. That seems like a safer bet. Forget the people. One. Wow. One. Can I get a granite? I, those are over by you. Yes. Thanks. Yeah, I think I'm going to take a granite, a limestone. Okay. Um, red. Brit. Loud and clear. Okay, cool. Thank you. Oh, that's not bread. That's parchment. A parchment. Uh huh. And another granite. Okay. Oh yeah, that's by you. Okay. Sorry, I was looking up what this one is. So you pick up two cards and you get to keep one. Oh okay. Which could be anything, really. Yeah. Are these one-time use cards? Some of them. Okay. I think yes, most of them are. So like you just play it and do that? Yeah. We're I mean, producing I mean that one would key. be amazing, gain three population or three happiness. I think I might just take Yeah, the, just take that one. That's better, though, right? I think I might just take the three. And then the two? Three and two. Oh, wow, Josh has such a happy civilization. He's happy, happy. Complete opposite of... Okay, so... Oh, so now we have, this is, a, it said something about initiative orders at the top of this now. Yes, yes, that's what I was going back to for setup. <laughs> I have eight. These, I'll show you I guys have what the cards look like. Teen. Let me fix you. Place all player mat markers on the turn order track in descending order based on the total initiative value. Highest total initiative value is placed on the first. 
the order track and so on in case of a tie. So I'm already good. Receive starting resources in the newly established turn order. Each player chooses one of the following destiny cards. These cards. So do we have to change it? Because I had 10, but you had a higher number? Oh, I would be going first. I'm orange. Okay. Sum up the initial two cards. Mm -hmm. uh, the highest total initial value is placed first on the turn order track and so on. Okay. Yep. So we're good. Put those away, I'm guessing. These oh. are the matte markers. Matt Markos. Every player receives all rewards shown on their destiny cards and starting value cards. Each player should choose their destiny card face up next to the player board. It's depicted onk. Value will be important later in the game. Return all starting cards to the game box as they are no longer needed. Cool. Goodbye. Goodbye. I put mine just back on the pile. Oh. Already? Cool. Yep. So now we have these. Mm hmm. Which I don't know what those are. Um, so this is this is uh, one of these people. Okay. Which can be used to move your die up or down, right? I'm sure. sure. I'm pretty sure that's what they're used for. Excuse me. Yeah, right here. Minus one of those people, you could add plus two to... I think that's your good and badness. Mm. Okay. Right? Yep. Um, or you could do minus two of them for some other action. To go up the Anubis, or whoever sure, that is. Sure, you know who, and who these people are, Joe? Oh, no, he's not over there. Never mind, that's not one of the gods. I don't um, know who that is. Is that the dark action, or whatever? To be able to take, because there's some dark action to be able to take the dice in the middle, whatever. I don't know. We'll get to that. Yep. Um... Dude, I don't know what I want. I'm going for a gold. Okay. Hand me a gold, please. This gold could be used for everything, pretty much. Sure. I'll take this to get a population. And these are gone? Yeah. Gone. Get out of town. Forever. Okay. Now we're ready to play the game. Okay. I wish there was a. So on oh, your turn. One round of play. There you Take go. exactly one pure or tainted die from the obelisk wheel. Not yep. a forbidden die. So, so forbidden's uh, the closest internal. inner circle. Yep. Place die on appropriate side of your scale. So either pure or tainted. Perform an action. Uh, God action corresponding uh, where your die was. So in one of these areas. Mm hmm. Or produce resources based on the color of your die. Gray dies uh, cannot be used as a resource. Which makes sense. And then if all players have exactly two dice or four dice on their board, you'll rotate the obelisk. Which change, changes and moves dice all around. Mm -hmm. All that fun jazz. And then we'll go to mat scoring. Which is balance and imbalance. Pretty much there's 16 rounds in this game, so we'll do twice a round? I think so, yep. No, once full turn, right? Because mm -hmm. you're taking two turns before we turn it, and then it turns one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so it will do like one and a half turn, or one and a quarter turn. I don't know. One, two, three, four... Five, six. six. And if we go to 16, we would need eight. So then it would continue to hit that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. Good to go. Makes sense. Not really, but makes sense. I have no idea how to build up here with bread or anything. I don't know what any of that means. So this is discard bread to build a building. I'm guessing wherever you build it, that's how oh, much bread it costs. Okay. Um, and then do you get to put a pillar out there in the same row? I don't know about that. Neither do I. This look at so when the sand timer thing happens. Oh. You get victory points. You get points for every building, or statue, or pillar. This is very confusing. There's a lot, yeah. 
Well, very. This is essentially the science track down here. You lose a happiness. You put you put a building out. Yep, which moves you up on this track. Yep, and so gives you, get, you some resources. This is you get. This is kind of like the card track where you get buffs and whatnot. Mm -hmm. This track is. I don't know what this is. Minus two paper to get your purse, your happiness to go up for the amount of die, probably. Mm hmm. That's what it looks like to me. Yep. This uh, is a different person over here. I don't know who that, uh, where that person came from. <laughs> they're uh, not on the board. They're not on the board. No. I'm assuming you. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think that's the mat thing. This is uh for when we do good and evil to count mm. how good or evil we balanced our dice. Okay. So if you go two negative, you start to get negative victory points. Right. Um, or two positive. Yeah. So what's this one, two, three thing then? I don't know. I think that might be scoring for like, oh, you get one resource for anything this way or that way. Because this matches up to it too, because I know we can put these over here. Hmm. Interesting. Because there's a thing. Yeah, just a bit. Just a bit on the heavy side space, Dandy. Yeah, because you put those over there and that's how you put out your pillars. I want to say, because if you look, it looks like you put the, your pillars on top of those. Yeah, let's let's read about this. There are two statues, spaces by the temple. No, that's statues. Raw God action allows you to raise one pillar within the temple complex. The cost of the pillar is displayed on the pillar tile used as its foundation. So you're building foundations to build a pillar. So that's where you need the limestone and the... Yep, the... The other stuff. Granted. Yep, the value of the die allows you to decide on which one. Mm. After playing the required cost, score one victory point per building, not statue, regardless of ownership. In the same row and column, score one victory point for every edge of the pillar that matches the adjacent edge color of another pillar. Receive the reward shown on the space covered by the pillar. Score one to three victory points based on the space from which you took the pillar. If the pillar okay. tile has a sunny shade or dark ability that matches the section of the obelisk wheel currently aligned with raw action, immediately gain that. So like, um, if you take the middle one and it's in the, the gray, like where is that action right now? Which one? Oh, uh, it's in the dark side so, now? So if you take the dark side action, which I don't even know. Which one is dark? How you would take the dark side action, like I don't know how you take yellow dye. I thought you couldn't take those. There's a way to do it, I just don't yeah. know how. Uh, place the pillar from your personal supply onto the pillar to indicate it belongs to you. Okay. Okay. Um, let's find out about buildings, right? Who's buildings? Is this buildings? Hathor God actually allows you to construct one building around the Simple complex, the cost of mm -hmm. building is two to four bread, depending on the space you choose. Yep. After paying the bread. Yep. Take the leftmost building from your board, place it on a selected space. Cool. For each space within the temple complex in the same row or column as your construction builder, do the following. If the space contains one of your pillows, score three victory points. Space is empty, receive exactly one of any depicted resource or faith. Okay, cool. Advance your population marker and number of spaces equal to the value of the die used to perform the Hathor God. So pretty much you want pillars out there before you build houses. Well, if you want to get victory points, otherwise yeah. you get resources. Yep, yep. Um, okay, so you would choose one in the row or column. One square and take either three victory points if you have a pillar there. Yep. Or... If the space is empty, exactly one of any depicted resources yeah. or faith. Gotcha. So you cool. get to choose. Yep, yep. Cool. Just kind of learning some of the gods. What god do we not really know? Horus god. That's a statue. Horus actually allows you to build one statue. Each statue has a corresponding granite cost. 
So there's your granite cost also, Joe. Oh, yeah. Wow. So it looks like you need a butt ton of granite. Yeah, you do. <laughs> um, yeah, that's not confusing at all. Because <laughs> it goes into, like, building Stannis Otter of Gods. Okay, I'm just going to go, I guess, because I'm so lost at this. Uh, but I don't feel like I have enough research sources. Wow, Josh. That I'll take blame for that one this time. <laughs> um, yes. Burgermon. Burgermon, Burgermon, Burgermon. Uh, I feel like I need resources, man. So how do I get resources? I just take a die and take that many resources, right? Yeah. Well, up to two. Because you're limited. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take... Does it matter where I take it from? I don't think so. So this is a bad one. I'm going to go there. And I'm going to take... Two granite. Two granite. Yep. I have two granite, please. And then I thought, so, I, thought I saw... read something about it. goes up one, but... I thought that was only here, but... I don't know. This book is so... So, so... So, so... This is where you get scribes. See, the, how do you... If you have enough scribes, you can combine both the scribes, for example, and you might even spend three scribes, take Anubis, and adjust the value of that. No. I was seeing how you take the dark ones. That's what I mm -hmm. had a question about. I have a question about the resource thingy. Produce resources. In performing god action, you choose to produce resource. Take number of resources equals value. Any resources produced in excess of the position of the production marker of resource of that resource taint your soul with greed. Place excess resources onto the right side of the scale. Oh, exciting. Hmm? So if you Yeah, they go on the right side for greed, yeah. If you take too many or whatever, you can't handle the resources. Yep, yep. You can spend two scribes to perform an Anubis action with any die. What's the Anubis action? Doesn't say anything about, uh... Is that just taking the dark die? Or the, the... What are these for? <laughs> what are those for? I don't know. Oh, solo mode. Ah, uh, there we go. That's, um, oh, it's only like 35. You want to cruise it real quick? Botten, botten Common. It's a bot in common. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Produce resource. There's your, that's what you just did, right? Yeah, but I was uh, trying to find... Uh, Beware of greed. If you go up. I thought you went up. Doesn't... From what I'm reading, it doesn't look like it, does it? Yeah, no. No, nope, it's only if you come down here to go up. But there's a thing right here that says... That's just telling you... You can't get over your limit, I think. Your production limit. This is terrible examples. You're a terrible example! Okay. Okay. So I think I'm going to take this white die here. From the there. So it goes over here, right? Which one is that one? That's Osiris. Got Osiris. It, I'm mm -hmm. going to build. I'm going to lose a happiness to build. Was okay. And it's a two. Well, okay. First of all, does do I have to take a white die or can I take like this five? You could take the five. I don't see why can not. Can I? I'm gonna take the three. And put this here to get a granite, and then both of these go up again. Ooh. Can I please have a granite? Ah, now my granite and limestone production is up to four. <laughs> Dang. Two houses out. Dang. Right? Dang. Did you have to pay anything for that? Happiness. Oh, wow. I believe that's all you do. Essentially, I'm taking someone's house instead of building houses for the city. Oh, wow. So this goes up double, and then you get two of them for a five? Why didn't you do five? Oh. Why d I thought it only went up once. That's why. I'm going to switch it, Josh. I'm going to do a five. 
Thank you. But it only goes up in the one section. Yeah, this limestone goes down, but the granite will go up twice. Mm -hmm. And I get a second granite. There we go. Thank you. Is there any, like, badness for that? No. Mm -mm. Besides losing the happiness. And I only have one more happiness, so I can only do that. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I like it. Okay. I like what you're doing. Can I do the gray dye over there? Yep. On the one you were going to do? Yep. So I just need one of your buildings. Oh, wait. This is bad. I need to go good. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, come on. Take it. What's this section? Everything's bad. Well, I guess. Oh, yeah. It's interesting that you have to choose what section. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. You have to balance okay. it. Okay. I'm going to do this die. It's a good die. Okay. And it's a f four. Yep. Which is the, the middle one. So I'm going to pay three lime and a gold. Okay. To do this one, right? Yep. Is this in a gray area? No, it's in a dark area, so I don't get the that. But I do get to place it. Yep. So, so if I place it... You get you get whatever's underneath it. Mm-hmm. And then you score extra points for matching it up on a side. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh, well, yeah. la la. You can you can help with that. Sure. It's this whole entire section. This entire section. Raise one pillar within the temple complex. So what the are cost of the pillar is displayed on the pillar tile. You paid that. Yep. So what are these? This the, double up things. Is this like the value? Well, let's see. The value of the die you chose matches the value of the corresponding pillar tile you play space. Mm -hmm. Okay. After playing the re paying the required cost. Place the towel onto any empty space within the temple complex. You may freely rotate the towel before placing it, then do the following. Score one victory point per building, regardless of ownership, mm -hmm. not statue, in the same row or column. Mm -hmm. Score one victory point for every edge on the pillar tile that matches the adjacent edge cover color of a pillar tile or the temple complex itself. Mm -hmm. um, if you place the pillar tile on one of the corners... Temple Complex says instead score two victory points per matching edge color. Oh, so if you do a corner, you get two victory points per matching edge. Oh. Um, in the pillar, if the pillar tile has a sunny sh or shaded side or dark ability that matches the section of the obelisk wheel currently yeah, aligned. No, it's not. It's shaded, is what that is. Yeah, but when it's in dark right now. Yeah, okay. Yep, yep. Uh, E.g., immediately activate the ability. Blah, blah, blah. Place a pillar from your personal supply onto the pillar tile to indicate that it belongs to you. This is relevant when scoring the Hathor God action and during scoring. Okay. Slide the remaining pillar tiles to the right, filling any empty spaces before drawing a new tile from the face down pillar tile stack. To I feel it. like I should get a bunch of extra victor points. So how many victor points would it be if I went in the corner? Oh, uh, well, you only matched up one side. I matched up two sides, one, two. That's not green over there. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. You'd have to turn it like that. But it says you can turn it. That's green, see? I know you probably can't see aren't that. Aren't they both? Aren't, isn't this green on all four sides? Nope. It's yellow on two and green on the other. And it, this is yellow here. And oh. It, it's like a yellowish brown. Yep. Oh, wow. Yep. That would give you four victory points because you match two sides. Wow. Is that worth it? I, I don't, what do you what do you cover up, I guess? Just extra victory points. Is, That's think. all it gives you. It doesn't give you any resources then. Okay, I see. I think I'm going to go here and get two bread. Okay. Changed it. He doesn't want victory points, folks. He wants bread. Mm -hmm. And then this will slide over, and then we fill the one on the left. And then I put a pillar on it. Yes. Cool. Score one victory point per building, not statue, regardless of ownership, in the same row and column. Example. Okay, by matching the current light condition of the obelisk wheel to those of the pillar tile, you activate the powerful ability. I want to see if you score. Do you score a victory point for placing your own pillar? It does not say. It does say for every... Score one victory point per building, not statue, in the same row and column. I don't have any buildings. Oh, buildings. Yeah, yep. duh. Not, not pillars. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. That's it, I guess. Okay. So back to me? Yeah. When do we move that again? When does this move? When we each have four dice? Wait, when we each have two dice. Two dice? Yes. Oh, I thought it was when we had four. If all players have exactly two or four dice on their player board. Because it changes. So we'll start with... Oh, it moves when we have two. It moves when we have four. Yeah. Okay. Got it. I was like, how do we ever get to four if it moves when we get to two? <laughs> Got it. Okay. Because that's considered a round. So the way it's explained... But when does this stuff happen? Not every time it rotates, is a it? A game of Tico takes place over multiple rounds following this pattern. Two rounds equals one rotation. Okay. Two rotations equals a mat. Okay. Two mats equals a scoring. Two scorings equals a game. Two rotations equals a mat. So this will be a mat. Yep. Two. Matt, Matt. One, yeah. two. There's no Matt here, though. Uh, we didn't have another soap game. Hmm. And during setup, it didn't. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, there's two scoring markers. So. See, during the setup, it just. Go there and there. I don't know. Okay. So on the round, we do god actions or whatever. So after after actions, you're at less than turn order. If you have at least... If you have exactly two dice, or four dice... If you're last in turn order, okay. Every two rounds. Okay, the rotation is formed by... Every two rounds, this happens with every player it has exactly two or exactly four. Rotate the obelisk wheel one section clockwise, signifying how the movement of the sun alters the shadow. Players have four dice in their player boards that immediately perform a mat phase. Okay. I just hear them. For each of the two shaded sections around the obelisk wheel in its new position, draw a number of dice equal to the number of players. Ensure that every die around the obelisk wheel is placed in the correct row. And then begin a new round. Begin a new round. Okay. So we don't do this phase yet. I'm guessing that's during the scoring, maybe. That's during the mat phase. Yep. Okay. So when we have four dice is when they have to equal. That's what I was trying to figure mm -hmm. out there. That was my fear. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to take six granite. Whoa. I can only hold five, though. So... And then the excess goes over here to the bad part, the greed. So I need one more. I thought you could only hold five. I can only carry, like, oh, produce gotcha. five, but the excess goes into the greed mm -hmm. area, right? So, mm -hmm. cool. Rotate it. Kerplunk. Okay. For each of the two shaded sections around the obelisk in the new position, draw a number of dice equal to the number of players. So we need, are there four dice in the bag still? Number of dice equal to the number of players. For each shaded section, two on each, right? There is. Oh, so do two at a time. We'll do this one, then that one. Yellow goes here. Gray goes in the middle. Black goes here. Brown goes up top. We had a new round. Cool. Here. We got this, right? Yeah, yeah, we're getting it. Here's a little simple. Yeah, I know. I was, I have that too. Oh, really? I thought that we were sharing these. No, there was four of them, <laughs> one for each player. So I just gave us two each, so we could look yeah. at both sides. Okay. So you keep going first, right? Yeah. It's not yeah. the mat phase, so nothing changes. Yeah. Mott. So does the die number matter on this one for? Bread? Or does it not matter? Does the what? To do this area. To build a house. Uh, good question. Does it matter if Let it's good or, that. good or evil? Which one is that? Who, which god is that? The bull? Sure. That is not Hathor. Horus. Raw. Raw, 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 raw. Hathor. Okay. Uh, allows you to construct one building around the temple complex. The cost of the building is two to four bread. Mm -hmm. 
Um, the value of the die you use to perform the Hathor God action does not restrict where you may construct your building. Cool. After playing the required, paying the required bread, um, take the leftmost building from your player board and place on the selected space. Mm hmm Hmm. Okay. This is how you get victory points, right? What? This, doing this. One of the ways, yeah. Mm, okay. For each space within the temple complex in the same row or column as your constructed building, do the following. You're going to choose one and either get three victory points for the pillar, or... So, your pillar, the tile you placed had a symbol on it, but that didn't come into effect at all, huh? Because we weren't in shade. That oh, area wasn't shade. okay, now I get it. Remember, it was in the dark area, yep. and I didn't know how to do the dark die. Yep. I still don't know how to do a dark die. I don't understand that area. Is that area to build? I will look at that one. That one is the birdie. I think that's the build stuff, right? I will see. What does that take? Or does that just give you stuff? Horus. That's the bird, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, the Horus God action allows you to build one statue. Each statue has its corresponding granite cost printed at the bottom of the statue rack. Track. <laughs> Choose whether to build a statue in honor of a god oh. or to build the statue for the people. Yeah, so you need like four granite. Yeah. Jesus H. Yep, there are 18 statue spaces oh, surrounded by the obelisk oh. wheel, three spaces for each of the three, six Egyptian gods. We can only build one in each Never space. Mind. Okay, I'm going to go here. I'm going to grab this gray die, which is bad. Which it was a three, so I put a building out on the three, right? Yep. You can do one of these too if you want more bread or whatever. What? You can do one of these ones. You don't have to do granite. Ooh. Because there's bread and parchment as well. And I do I get a bread and parchment? You would get a bread or a parchment, yeah. Yeah. And they both go up one. I'm gonna go up that way. Okay. And get and, a bread. And get a bread. Okay. I feel like bread is a uh... bread. That was, that was my turn. Okay. <laughs> Hurt your brain yet? I don't know. We haven't even looked at any of these cards yet. No. Performing a Bastard or Hathor God action, do not pay its cost. Wow. Well. Is that period throughout the rest of the game, or is that one time... The value of the die you choose matches the value of the corresponding horse bonus tile. This indicates which god you may honor with your statue. Locate the action area associated with that god after paying the required granite cost. Take the leftmost statue and place it onto an empty I... statue space in that area. I don't want bread. I'm going to do parchment. Virus. Parchment. From now on, every time another player performs the god action, you receive the bonus depicted next to the, the example tile. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So I'm going to take this 5, which is good. I'm going to use this guy to, to increase it by plus or minus 2 to make it a 6. Okay. That's going to allow me to build in a statue for 4 granite. Mm -hmm. So I have, Can I get one back, please? Mm -hmm. In the Horus area. Mm -hmm. So I will build it here. Yep, and I think you can only do... We can only we'll build have one. one. Yep. yep. It says, from now on, every time another player performs this god action, you will receive the bonus depicted next to the... I think it's course in, in a two-player game, it's you or yeah, anybody. It is, yeah, so whenever someone does that, oh, yeah, I was thinking, I'll gain one of those guys. Oh, okay. Do I want one of those guys, or would I rather do something else and not use this? I don't know. I think I'm going to change that. My bad. I Isn't this guy... guy? What does this guy do? Is that how you get to use the dark die by spending two of those people? I think so. Yeah. Yep. Because it says to perform an Anubis action, and I don't see anywhere where the Anubis action is yet. But I'm guessing it's the middle ring is Anubis. Yeah, yeah. I think you just play two of them to do an Anubis action. So I'm gonna move this over here to this red guy instead. Okay. 
because then I'll get a granite or a limestone oh, or whatever. Right. Someone yeah, does yeah. that. Do you take Wait, that, that doesn't make... Why would I do that? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Why not? Because I can already get a good amount of granite and limestone. Mm. I'm going to go back here. Switch okay. it all back up again. All right, put that three back. Take the five. Okay. Use this to make it a six. That goes away. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Additionally, if you build a statue at the temple complex, score three victory points for each of your pillars in the same roller column. I didn't do that. Okay. This is the bowl. Okay, so see, you can use any die to build for the people. That's what that's saying. You can build, because oh. you can put the statues here or there for the people, and that's how you get that gold. Gotcha, okay. And you get victory points for, I don't know about this one, but you get victory points over here if you have pillars in that column. Cool. <clears throat> okay. Alrighty then. There you go. You may treat forbidden dice as if they were pure or tainted. Mm hmm. Well, I guess you would. Yeah. The dudes are deep. Hey, what's up, Soft Kitty? Sorry. Yeah, we were. This game is intense. It's a uh, lot. It's heavy. How many pages is in. What, Yowza? Who needs happiness? Yeah, okay. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. There we go. I'm caught back up. Sorry about that. 32 page instruction book. It's. Yeah. All right. It's back to your turn. I'm oh, done. Joy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we're getting there, though. Oh, Joy. Um, <laughs> I don't, is this happiness? This is times happiness. How do you get more population? Mm -hmm. Building buildings up there, I think, isn't it? Is that? I built a building. No, you built a pillar. You didn't build a building. No. Do you gain oh, we, that's right. I was supposed to look what that did. Horus. What? What 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 the one, two, and three is. What? Oh, I think you get a resource from X and Y, you get victory points for pillars in X and Y, and then you get population times your die. Oh, that's Hather, not Horus, my bad. Yeah. I was reading the wrong one. Jeez, Joe. Um I wonder what happens when you don't have bread to feed your people and stuff. I don't know. We'll probably lose victory points probably why we start at 10 yeah yeah makes sense okay um i'm gonna go good here which means you're gonna get a a person thingy Ooh, sweet thank you yep just a cheater yep i'm gonna pay three bread bread build a house i'm gonna build it there Okay. Okay, let's figure this stuff out. Okay. So you can do one of the following. For each space within the temple complex in the same row or column as your constructed building, do the following. If the space contains one of your pillars, score three victory points. Okay. If the space is empty, receive exactly one of any of the depicted resources or faith. So do you do it for every single one? Advance your population marker in number space equal to the value of the die used to perform. That's how you do it. So whatever die you just use, that's how far you'll advance your population. Gotcha. But do I gain like one, 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 one? For each space within the temple's complex. Yeah. In the same row or column as your constructed building. Yeah. That's insane. So why does it show? Oh, because so I would get one of those, of those. One. It says one resource from each. When you place your build, the pillar there, you get what's underneath of that. Ah, I see. Okay, so one of that, one granite, three victory points. Okay. One granite. I gotcha. That's a pretty good... Two, one, one papyrus, and one white. I already gained my three victory points. There you go. Wow. And then I go up three. One, two, three. Since I'm in green, we pull out green cards. Wow. Look at that, you're just performing a Nubis action. Wow. <laughs> wow, we're wow, we figured it out, guys. Kind of. And gals. Gang. Oh, there's gang. a new thing. 
So this is gain one victory point per step between your happiness and the lowest position happiness marker. Oh, okay. Wow. So you get three victory points? Well, During I the think this phase? is end game? I don't know. I don't know. It's the golden score. Oh, it's golden. I'm assuming so that's once it's... In the golden? In the golden at the very, very end. I don't sure. know. Wow! That's right, Space Dandy. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Alright, what do I want to do? I don't know. I feel like I want to build a building now. That was so exciting. It's pointless for you. Well, you, I mean, it's not pointless, but... Everything's pointless for me. <laughs> This is, um, it, it hurts my brain, because, like, I want to do a, a bunch, but I feel like I can't. Alright, let's check this out here. So, what is this guy? A Basset. Allows you to hold a festival to increase the happiness of your populace. Pay two paper, mm -hmm. pepperis, and advance your happiness marker the number space equal to the value on your chosen die. It can't go past your population limit, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think it's supposed to be up higher on the name. You perform level. the Basset action using a die value 1 or 2, receives two scribes. Okay. So you go up and then you receive anything scribes based off that. that. Okay. Oh, cool. That's easy enough. Um, I like this line. Where, what, I think I want to do you, that. Where do you get these from? Aldi. They're Aldi brand. So I have to use a gold because I only have one paper. So I'll use a gold and a paper. Take the five to increase my happiness. That's a good five, bad five. It's a good five. Oh, look at you being perfect over there. No, I'm not. I'm off by one. Oh, buddy. I know. Fail. And that's it. So we cool. have four dice. So now we go to the... We rotate again. And then we... Well, I, we should probably read it. Yep, that's where I'm going. See, right now. Because I'm feeling we're going to have to put dice back in. and. Yep. Mat phase. Okay. Well, shoot. Rotate. Oh, if you get to two before you put dice out, it says immediately perform the mat phase. So yep. we rotated. Uh, a mat phase is performed every two rotations. This happens when every player has exactly four dice on their player board. Do the following. Each player determines the balance of their scales. I everything on the left side pure counts positive. Everything on the right side tainted counts negative. Each die is worth positive or negative equal to its value. Each resource due to excess production is worth negative one. Okay. 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 So we just figure out our balance. Yep. Flip page. Figure it out. What what that matters. To offset any imbalance between the pure and tainted sides of the scale, players may place any number of faith tokens onto either the right or left side of the scale. That's these. Yep. I don't uh, so you can do that. I think if they go away after the round, though, don't they? I think it's you use or lose them. I what? These. Um, I don't know. I don't see that. Okay, we'll just keep them then. Whatever. It says, okay, now move all mat markers from the turn order track and place them onto the mat track according to the final balance of their scale. So I'm at negative one. I'm at seven and five, so I'm at positive two. Okay. Oh, you are. Look at you. Yeah. Any player with negative balance loses a number of victory points as follows. Negative one, negative two, zero. Well, you're at zero. Okay. Players with zero or a positive balance never lose victory points. Okay. All players place their map markers on the turn order track in ascending order based on their balance. A player with a perfect balance of zero will be first in turn order, then followed by negative or positive one, then negative or positive two. So I'll be first now. Yep. Okay. Okay. In case of the tie, the tie player who has the highest ink value printed on their destiny cards place their uh, map marker first. Okay, that's what the destiny cards are for. These. I wonder if we were supposed to get. Did we take the bonus on it as well? I don't think we. Uh, did. no, I didn't. <laughs> I don't think we. Do you well, want? Yeah, we. No. You didn't take yeah. the gold. I know you uh, used at least one gold already, but we started with one gold before, didn't we? we... How did I get the six? We should have kept our beginning cards. <laughs> uh, I don't think we did. So you took that one and that one. Yeah. I took. Yeah, I took those two. Yeah. So I how did I get the six here? I don't know. So we started at five. I must have taken one to increase my population, but you didn't I'm, take your gold. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea, dude. I don't know if I. Wait, no, because you spent a gold. You haven't yes. gained a gold back yet, so you did get it. Okay. Yeah. Yes. We got this. Good. Wow. 
Uh, okay, if the arrow of the obelisk wheel is pointing to the lowest numbered, still in place scoring marker, numbers are expressed with hourglasses, it will immediately perform a scoring. We're not scoring. No? It's pointing to a, the lowest numbered, still in place scoring marker. So this is like a two. And, this oh, is so a it's one. not until we get over there. Okay. Okay. See scoring below. Return all dice from the player boards to the draw bag. Return all excess resources and faith tokens from the scales yep, yep. on each player board on the journal supply. All unused faith tokens are likewise returned. So, yeah, they do go away. You're right. Okay. So, this goes back now. Yep. Dice go back. Return all destiny cards to the middle of the table. And then, wait. All unused faith tokens are likewise returned. Okay. Return all destiny cards to the middle of the table. In the newly established turn order, each player takes one of the available destiny cards, receives the reward shown, then also determines their ink value. This also turns for the next one. Oh, wow. Okay. Can you step three of the current rotation process? This doesn't make sense. Oh, this is during the scoring phase. Golden scoring phase. Probably the end of the game. Probably. Second scoring phase, right? So I could choose one of these first? Yeah. Alright, I'll take the same one again so I can get a happiness. I'll, I'll take a gold. Oh, nope, so I'll take a gold, my place. There you go. And then the again. Okay, back to step three, which I think is just put out dice. Uh, yep, two, two dice in each shaded area. Ensure that every die around the obvious wheel is placed in the correct row based on whether it dies. Pure. Two dice? Yep. Okay, let's, so let's do this side closest okay. to us. White is here. Gray is here. Wow, Josh. Brown and black. Brown is here. Black is there. Okay. There we go. Cool. We made it through four rounds. Twelve more to go. Yep. <laughs> All right. When does this happen? Next? During scoring phase, during I'm scoring, guessing? guessing? Okay, yeah. okay. I wonder if we're supposed to move that here now. It didn't say to move it. Because I feel like this should be a scoring round. Because it's going to be... Two and then four. Yeah. Because the scoring only happens during a mat. Uh huh. So that would be four rounds. One, two, three, four would be the first scoring phase. Then one, two, three, four will be the final scoring phase. Yeah. So no, I don't think I think that's right. So we go one one round. One, two, three. <laughs> Wait a second. It's every two rounds that dice uh -huh. come out. That we have four dice, right? Yeah, and we started here, or here. I'm not sure. I feel like something needs to go here. We'll figure it out because of yep. dice. Yep. We will figure it out when we get to the first scoring phase. Okay. So I go first. Oh, it makes sense because it's just going to be a mat. Yep. And then that's a score. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. Yep. Yep. Then Those you, represent that's how scoring. You get the, all the rounds that we got. Gotcha. Yep. So it's like white scoring, white scoring, gold scoring. Yep. Gotcha. Well, no scoring here. White scoring. I wonder if I had them backwards then. No, no I looked no. when okay. it set up. You had it right. It <laughs> show. Uh, this is confusing. Mm -hmm. Deep in the rules. Hmm. It's interesting because like, the, those two areas are totally empty. Yeah. Yep. We'll get dice next, though, so. Wow. What's gray? What's gray? Gray's not a resource, resource, is it? Cards. No, 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 I meant the dice. The dice, that's not Correct. related to anything, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, um...
Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. My brain hurts. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to take this three here to do this, to build a statue. Cost me three granite. There's three granite. And I'm going to put it here. Dude, you and statues, bro. And that was dark side, not light side. Okay, got it. Okay, cool. Got it. Got it. All right, back to you. Mm hmm. Man, right, I was gonna look up Anubis actions when we I'm gonna go this two here, which is bad side. I'm gonna build a building on this one right here, which I get a white. I'll move up on white. see anything about Anubis in here. Who's Anubis? That guy. What about him? I was trying to see how you what that means if you take an Anubis action. Yeah, but I don't I don't see anything. Alright. Um, we don't move it because we don't have two dice. There is a Additionally, after performing the Anubis action, using scribes, spend exactly two scribes to perform an Anubis action. When performing the Anubis action, you may take any die from around the obelisk wheel. Yes, any die from anywhere, including forbidden dice, and use this die to perform any action. Yes, any okay. action, including any god action or any action to produce resources, regardless from which section you took the die or its color. Only a value of the die is relevant for the effect of this action. Additionally, after performing the Anubis action, place the die below the scale on your player board. This die does not count towards wow. the balance of your scales during the mat phase. Wow. If you have enough scribes, you can even combine both options. For example, you might spend three scribes to take Anubis action and adjust the value of the die up or down. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. I need bread. <laughs> What's the best way to get bread? Build a building. Build a building. Or take a brown die. But if I take a brown die over two, yep. I have excess bread. <laughs> yep. Yes, sir. It's 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 rough. It's like mm -hmm. it's like what do you do? I guess I'll do that just to get this moving. So give me three bread. Your bread's over on your side. Oh, I do. Yeah, three bread. Two of it I get. One of it goes here. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Great. Grand. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, Excuse they have a me. bunch of flavors. Lime's my favorite, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, Belle I don't know, bro. Right? Yeah, don't know. Um... I'm gonna take a one die. <laughs> and take a granite, or are you doing that? I'm doing this. So you can take a card. I I'm think. gonna take a card from here. Okay. Now what happens? Because we've never taken a card. Why would you do yeah. this, Josh? Uh, so this is a card when producing resources gain four bread. Okay. Let's see. The the Thoth God action allows you to receive one or more cards. There are three types of cards. Blessing cards are one-time use cards that provide an immediate bonus when used. 
I when used, what those are. when you receive a blessing card, place it face up near your player board. Each card indicates when it can be used. You may use more than one blessing at a time. Discard the blessing after use. Technology cards are provided ongoing effects. When you receive a technology, place it face up next to your player board. Technologies are not discarded when used. Which ones are the okay. Which one's blessing? Which one doesn't show examples? Go, go to the beginning. Yep. Uh, blessing is a hand. Yep. Technologies, Technologies are yellow. Okay. So yellows are ongoing effects. So this so is one keep... time. So this would be when I produce. When you produce resources, you can gain four bread. You can one, discard that to one time. One time. Yep. Oh. Then there's decree cards. Decrees provide additional ways of sway you s score victory points Jeez. at the end of the game. That's yep. one. Yep. Okay. Okay. Maybe I will change that up. E uh, time roller. How's it going? What's what's what what's what? It says whoops. 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 Okay. How's it going, man or person? <laughs> Uh, position of the happiness marker, available cards. You cannot take any cards if your happiness marker is at zero. So it's your happiness marker where you can take. I might change so I don't think green cards are supposed to be out yet. Yes, because it's where your person is. Well, it says position of happiness marker is where you can take cards from. So you can only take from this or this brown yes. area. I, thought, I swear it was people. Maybe. Maybe. Is when it brings the cards out. That's why they're up top. Okay. I think I might take this one. You may treat forbidden dice if they were pure or tainted. Oh man, whoops. What's up? Oh, okay. And it's all good. I've looked into this game. How you like it? It's, it's very interesting. There's a million things tonight. going on, though. I was reading what happens after you take a card. Oh, sorry. So, where, no, that's where fine. Was it? Where were you at? You form the thoughts using that, blah, 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 blah. At the end of your turn, refill any empty space in the car market with the same types of cards sh there. Should one of the decks run out, reshuffle the discard pile. Okay. So, one yellow card will come out. And then I was trying to figure out what this yellow card is. This is a... So... You may treat forbidden dice as if they were pure... Oh, so whenever you would take this action, using one of the forbidden dice, usually it goes here. I am read it differently. Oh. That's why I wondered... I thought it meant like I could just take and treat them as... I don't think so. I think it's if you play it. So it's, this is a technology card. It's 08. It's 08. Whenever you take a die, you may treat forbidden dice as if they were pure or tainted. So you have to take a forbidden dice still, but then you can decide which side it goes on instead of putting them down here. That's useless. Yeah, here, put that tech that back. Womp womp. There's about a million things going on. Yeah, because um, at the beginning of the game, I thought you could hey, take up into panic. the red area. What's that? Maybe it is your people i don't know it's confusing um that four bread's still not bad yeah i'll do that <laughs> I, I know, know. these I technologies know. are rude wow when taking a die set it to any value wow plus or minus five okay is it my turn sure wait we both have two dice. We need to rotate. Oh, yeah. We And then two and two. Yep, so over here, two dice. Alright, brown goes here. Black is here. So essentially it's a dice drafting game, but where you draft the die from gives you access to different <laughs> actions. And you have to balance... And you Good have these scales evil. that you have to balance. Yeah, it's insanity. How much is going on? All right. I think I'm going to take a one. Mm -hmm. Put it here. Mm -hmm. And I can take a card. Mm -hmm. I can take up to red because I have happiness in the red. Mm -hmm. I want to take this one. That's not very many victory points, but what's the Anubis action? Oh, that's where you spend two of those yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, yeah, so I'll take this technology card, so I'll kind of show you guys what this is. So this is a technology, and it says whenever I take a pure die, which is one of the dice that's in the outside gain circle, point. I'll gain a victory point. Yeah, yeah, that's a slow way to get victory points, man, so, but it's a way. But we, yeah, I mean, you, you have three more victory points than me, and yep. we're in the fourth yep. round of this yep. game. Yep. So um, one new technology comes out, gain two victory points whenever you perform a Hather God action. Hmm. Gain an additional two victory points per pillar. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Hathor's the top one. 
Sure. To build pillars? No. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's that guy over there. Okay. All right, your turn. <laughs> yeah. How are you going? How are you doing, Panic? Were you streaming tonight? You guys came at the right time. We're actually starting to figure out this game. The first uh, 45 minute or er, hour of the stream was us like struggling. I don't know about that, Joe. Struggling. Um, man, I just like everything out there. I, it's hard. There's so many options. Every it's like turn. I want re a certain resource, but they're the like and the dice suck for those resources. Mm -hmm. Can I take a forbidden die? No, no, you no, have to you have yeah. to use the Anubis to do that. Yeah, this is stupid. 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 I'm gonna lose a bunch of victory points this turn, so um, that's good. Because <laughs> I can't balance my. There's no way I can balance my dice. Yeah, that's my fear. Also, is it's like super. I only have a three, but it can go fast real quick. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm gonna go down a, a happiness. I'm gonna take that four. Okay. To the dark side. Yeah, 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 yeah. What would you like to build? I don't know. There's golden bro. bread there. Yeah. Golden parchment. Oh, God. Man. Watch me whip. Watch me hey hey. Um, I'm gonna go. Oh, they're all come with gold. Yeah. I'm gonna go up on. Both of those. Both of those. There's your gold and your Dude. limestone. This is rough. All right, you're done. Uh, is that considered producing? No, it's not. Nope. Sure is. Son isn't. of a biscuit. Um. All right. So I'm gonna take this five here yeah. to build a house. Yeah. That's gonna be a good five. Yeah. And I get a victory point for that because of my new technology. Yeah. And because you took it, Joe, you have a thing there. You get a. Oh, I do. You're right. So I get to a activate this bonus over here, which is another Thingy. guy. Yep. And that means you can do Anubis in the future. <laughs> That's right, I can. So I got to figure out where I'm going to put this thing. I can spend two. I have three bread, so I can't go to a four spot. Yep. I wouldn't want to anyway, but I don't think. Okay. <laughs> I see the two spots are just inherently worse because why? Because, oh, because there's, there's two a, sections oh, that don't have any. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even see that. Wow. So I'm gonna build a three. Whoa. Three breader. That's wild. And I'll put this here. Parchment. Uh huh. Not, not bread. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I get a parchment. Uh huh. I get a bread, mm -hmm. I get a limestone, mm -hmm. and one of those guys. One yep. of those. And, one yep, one of those. Yep, one of those. Yep. Okay. You're good. So this will go away at the end of the round, so I'll put that there. So I'm just yep, going to put yep. that there now, because that's where it needs to go. <laughs> uh, I need a fourth dice. Oh, yeah, my. you do. You're leaning to the dark side quite a bit there, Josh. You better... Uh, I can't find <laughs> There's not many pure dice left, though. Uh, yeah, sadly. Um, I'm going to do... This. Okay. Five. Right? Okay. Uh, I don't want the five. Son of a biscuit. Hey, you do. Oh, no, you don't. It's in the no, white now, isn't I it? I the white, but that works, I guess. Uh, I'll do three and a gold. Okay. Three and a gold. Three. So what Josh is doing is he's going to build a pillar out there. He gets victory points for lighting up the sides so they match. Mm -hmm. So this one has green. That one has green. Big shout out to Streamlabs. Yeah. Thanks, Streamlabs. Thanks, Space Daddy. I'm going to go out. there for gold. Okay. So that gives you a victory point. A and gold. you get a gold back. Yeah. But you get a victory point for matching one side. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Josh is cruising ahead of me. Four, 14 to 11. By the way, you start at 10 victory points. So. Yeah. All right, that's it, right? Uh, sadly. All right, so now okay. we go to the mat phase. All right, so what did we do last mat phase? No, this you is were... a scoring phase. Well, we do mat first, and then halfway through the mat, it says to go into the scoring. <laughs> Jesus. 
This type of game makes my uh, my butt pucker. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, my brain is down in my butt because it hurts so bad. It is. Okay. I enjoy it. It's Each a lot. Each player determines the balance of their scales. Blah, 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 uh, wait, sorry. we need to fill that. Oh yeah. I have no idea what that means. We're cool. Yep. Extra victory points. Um. So we need to balance. So I have one. Two, eight to six, so I'm negative six, two. Seven, I'm negative two also. Ooh, boy. Okay. Do we take our dice off and put them in the bag? Um. Hold on, we're not there yet. Let's go over here. We have to off. We did the imbalance offsetting already, so all this stuff yep, gets discarded. Any did of you the count your, your bread? Also I did, yeah. Yeah. I did. Bread goes to your side, Joe. What? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, so now we... How do you get 100 points? The scoring phase. We haven't got to a scoring phase yet, so who knows how many points we're going to get here. Oh, so we, we're tied, so we have to break the tie using this. Well, no, well, first we get negative points. Nobody gets negative points. Yep. So now we have to break the tie. I have a 2, you have a 1, so I think that means I win. In case we tie the tie player who has the highest ink value, yep. goes okay. first. So, okay, I'm and first we, still. And then we re-choose these, right? If the arrow is pointed at the lowest number still in place, scoring marker, the numbers are expressed in hourglasses. Uh, immediately perform scoring. Yep. Go to scoring. Okay. Every two mat phases, a scoring takes place. After the second scoring, the game is over. And individual decrees are scored. Okay. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. For each of the four resource districts in the Osiris action area, bread, limestone, these ones over here, um, count how many game pieces, buildings, and statues each player has. The player with the most in that district scores three victory points. In the case of the tie, the player with the top most game piece, building or statue, wins the tie. Oh, wow. So three, I get three, you get six. Okay. Because I have one here, no one else so has any. one, two, three, and then I get six. Yep. So two, three, four, five, six. Wow, okay. look at him. Music for life. This was exactly what I didn't love about Tekinu. It felt complicated for the sake of being complicated. Hope you guys are digging it. It is complicated for the sake of complicated. But it I does. think that's the fun of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with the game being complicated as long as everything makes sense. I think it. I think it's starting to make yes, sense. It's There's starting just to make sense. so much everywhere. Yes. I think if the rules were laid out a little the, better, the way that they have it spaced, it's not. I wish they would have just like. In, I don't know. And the one thing I think we could do away with these cards. We don't. This could be like an advanced mode. I think we don't yep. need all this no. extra put into the game. It's already complex enough. There's enough choices without these. Cool. I think they could have got rid of this weird balance thing also. That adds something like you have to think about. You can't just keep taking the dark dice, right? Yeah, yeah. But when light ones don't come out, everyone's going to start losing points. Yeah. Because there's one one light die now, on, or two, and yep. they're both of one. Yeah. 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 We're going to be in trouble here. Okay. Uh, for each player, score the temple complex as followed. Each building and statue around the temple complex scores one victory point. So we each score one victory point for our buildings. So one and one? Yep. Okay. Each pillar within the temple complex scores one victory point per building and statue belonging to that player in the same row and column. So... One? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, what? Let's give it an example. Orange scores eight victory points total. Three victory points for the for the buildings. Three victory points for the one pillar. Plus, oh, okay, yeah. So see, they have their buildings lined up with their pillars, so they get more points. Okay. Okay. Um, each player scores 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, or 21 victory points for having built 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 statues. Oh, so I get 3 victory points for having 2 of my statues built. <laughs> wow. Wow, okay. No, yeah, wow. Look at me. Each player scores 3 victory point per Dorito their happiness marker has reached. Oh, oh. the Doritos. Nope, no one, we don't get any points there. I passed it. Happiness. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah. Each, oh, there's Doritos. Uh, I'm curious to try this out, but I would definitely be taking time to really reading over the rules. Seems like a lot. Yeah, oh, I would yeah. really recommend almost everyone that's going to play read the rules. 
word i think a world in a world where i only play games once or twice it was just too much well then that's usually that's the same world we're into yeah. yeah yeah um if you could do a learning game and then instantly pick this up and play another game with the same yeah, set yeah. of people it might be a little less. You're talking like three hours. You are, well, the, it, with two people, you're talking three hours. Yeah. yeah. Each player scores two victory points per production marker on the topmost six position. What? If you got your production marker all the way up, you get two victory points. Oh, okay. Each player scores the sum of any victory points visible on the building roll of their player board. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. No, nope, not there yet. Okay. Okay. Finally, each player must pay the sum of the bread amount visible on the building row. Of course. What if we can't? Of their player board. For each bread they are unable or will, unwilling to pay, they lose three victory points. Holy <laughs> So we both, we both lose six no, victory points. No. Oh, wait, I have a bread. No, no, I have gold. Can you use gold? Gold can be used as anything, sir. <laughs> Fine. Dang it, I lose three victory points because I only have one bread. <laughs> well... All right. <laughs> I went. I think I lost points this round. <laughs> After scoring, remove the scoring marker from the game board. So it's gone. We don't score that one again. Yeah. Um, Jesus. If it was a final scoring or second and final scoring, then continue. Otherwise, go back and continue the mat phase. Okay. <laughs> go back to the mat phase now and continue with step and seven. And what sucks is it's like not in good order. Like. Okay. Return the dice from the player boards. Draw a bag. Return all yeah. excess resources. Return all destiny cards to the middle. Yep. And then we choose them again yep. and get choose the bonus. Them again, I'm taking this one and getting the gold. Yeah, cool. Um, I'm gonna take this punk the other one so I can get an Anubis. All right, let's <laughs> go upside. Yeah. All right. Um, and then we go back nice. after we finish that. We go back to finish. That's the end of the mat phase. And then we go to the round phase. Then we go to the end of the round phase and put the dice out. Yeah. So what's shade? In the shaded sections, two in each. So let's do this shaded first. Okay. Yellow and brown. <laughs> brown goes here, yeah. and yellow goes there. Oh, look at that. Cause nope. yeah. Nope. Brown goes. Nope. See, that was from because it was in a different area when those came I out. I wonder if do we move everything? I don't think so. It says you just put the new dice out. I wonder if dice are supposed to move. It doesn't say that. For each of the two shaded sections around the obelisk wheel in its new position, draw a number of dice equal to it, roll, and add them to the section. I don't okay. think you move them. Okay. There you go, Joe. There's the next two. Uh, white is here. Brown is up here. Well, look yeah. at that. We have some happy die. Yeah. Did you guys change your minds on Origins Gen Con this year? Um, I... <laughs> <laughs> yes and no. So... No, I didn't buy a badge for myself. I didn't get a hotel. Yeah. No one else is going that I know to Gen Con Correct. or Origins. Yes, I work as a Ravensburger brand ambassador as well on the side. Yeah. Like we stream on their channel as well, me and my wife do. And they had requested that me and her both come to Gen Con. And I said, well, I'm not coming, so I don't have a badge. I don't have a hotel. And they said they, they would help. And provide all that for me if I would come and work with them. So yes, I am going to work for Ravensburger. So yes, Joe will be at Gen Con. I will be at Gen Con. It's a complicated. I wasn't going to go. My plans were not to go, but they asked. They said they wanted us there really badly. Origins is um the one. Where's Origins? Columbus. At? Columbus. But they pushed that one way back. I thought like yeah. to October. What's the other one we go to? That's in Michigan. Is that in Michigan? Grand Con? Grand Con. No, they canceled again this year. Yeah. <clears throat> Was, have I been to Origins? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we went one time, and you were in the bathroom for ninety percent of the con. Oh yeah, that was really bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It Actually, was. I, it was I, Joe sits around and waits for Josh to get out of the bathroom was con. So it was bad. I, I had something wrong with me. Yeah, he did. <laughs> um, but so I, I had to go buy butt cream. That's how bad it was. Yeah. <laughs> I had to rent a little scooter and I scooted like three miles <laughs> away. True. Yeah, you did. In the ghetto. <laughs> it was sketchy. So, probably not going to Origins. I, I wouldn't be... I would be down... I mean, me and Josh are both vaccinated. Yep. I know Josh went to Origins. I stay in your room, dummy. Oh. I'm guessing this is Josh D. Yeah, well, okay. 
This is your game, isn't it, Josh D? Yeah, he <laughs> gave us for free. <laughs> you cursed us with this. No, I'm just kidding. It's fun. I'm having fun so far, even though it is hurting my brain a lot. He's a hey, I laughy. Har, har, har. Yeah, we haven't seen him in forever. Uh, glad that you uh, graced us with your presence. Yeah, thanks once for stopping in. And, uh, you know, a year. a year. Two years. It's been a while. Anyways. Um, so we're done. I go first, don't I? Oh my gosh, yeah, it's my turn. Do. What do I even want to do? Yeah. <laughs> make stuff. Right. How do you make bread? What's bread? Is bread yellow or brown? Brown. Oh, I thought it was yellow. Man. Yellow is parchment. That makes so much more sense. Yeah. Um, oh. There's a lot of dye or... in this area. Oh, yeah, that's where this got put out. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. When we went to Orange, that's where we played like Zaya and that mm -hmm. cockroach poker. Yep, yep. In the masks or skulls, the, the skulls, skulls, game. skulls yep, yeah. Yep. That I was terrible at. Absolutely awful. Hmm. How are you? How did you have seven granite, bro? God dang. So much granite. All right, I want to do this. I'm gonna take this. Mm -hmm. To build another guy, because this one only costs two. Of course. And I'm going to build it, because I don't, I can't build it here again, because I already have one there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to build it over here, I think. I have no idea what that does, but okay. Essentially, it, it counts in both rows as oh, me having a building, and so it's the topmost. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So that's I'll put it there. Pretty, that's pretty good. And I get a gold. For putting it there. Wow. Wow. Put that die on your board. Yeah. Up here. And that was a good die. Mm -hmm. So likely. Likely star rare. All right. Okay. I'm gonna. Ooh. Okay. I don't know. You have to pay two parchment, boy. Oh Jesus, I do. Oh. Oh no, I took that action up there. So. Or. To... Or, sir. Or. Or. Or I produce stuff. Produce some bread, maybe, <laughs> so we can feed so we can feed our people and not lose six victory points. I yeah. think I might produce some bread. Wish I would have known that part of the rules. I knew something bad was coming. I didn't think so. It was I get be that three bad. bread, and I'm going to use this to produce four bread. Wow! So, so seven, seven bread. Bread. All the bread. All the bread, sir. I'm on the bread train. I'm never gonna spend it all. Back to you. Boy, howdy, I'd love if I could get some granite. Yeah? I guess I could, technically. Uh-huh. Get four granite. Uh-huh. Get at it, sir. All right. I don't know about this. <laughs> Is it worth it? Because then they could build to another statue. Yep, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do an Anubis action by spending two of my dudes Whoa. to get this black die to get four granite. Let's get four granite, please. Wow. Right, you can take it and just get resources. Right, you don't have to do yep. a god action. They said. Yep. Okay. And you can use it as they said it only matters the number. So it says you can use any die as any color. Oh, can you? Yes. Okay. From anywhere. Remember? Okay. Where's the book at? You have it, right? There you go. I couldn't find Anubis, so... It was at the very front. So it's not labeled as Anubis. Before the rest of the action? It's in this section that's, um... Labeled as actions. Oh. Using scribes. So, scribes perform Anubis. When performing Anubis action, you may take any die from the obelisk wheel... Yes, any die, and use the die to perform any action, yes, including any god action or any action to produce, regardless of which section you took it from or its color. Wow, okay. So you could use, like, a gray six, realistically. I'm going to take that gray five, because I yep. can only produce five granite. Yep, I yep. just need one more granite, then. Please, thank you. That way I don't have excess. Yeah, yeah, makes sense, right? And done. And done. Um, hmm, okay, back to me. Yep. I think I'm going to go... Here. Ooh. So you get a thingy. Ooh, 
what is that again? Which guy, guy is that? The I bull? That guy. Yep. Um, Give me those scribes. Uh, I'm going to do four bread. For what? To build a house. Oh my gosh. Money, 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 money. I'm going to put it here. Wow. So I'll get a, a white, a black, a paper, and six victory points, right? Yep. And happiness, or population goes up too, right? Yeah, or whatever die. So three population. So, uh, six. So you didn't move something. your population, did you? No, I did not. Oh, man. I just so not, now we need... I think, where was that? I don't know. Fudge. I don't think I was... I think it was an eight. I don't know. We need to pull out white cards. So one of those. One of these. And two of the... No. End game scoring, boys. All right. Score the temple complex again. Wow. Pay two gold to score another decree a single time. I don't have to worry about you're never going to get your happiness that high. No. God, no. <laughs> How do you get your, you would have to do a six, right? Multiple times. Because yeah. you're only at three. And yeah. then you get to 13. It's wild. We. Oh, God. We're already doing that. Yep. Oh, Two Christ. more dice. Start here. Okay, okay. Bra. 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 I go first. Mm hmm. Bra. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, yeah. Where's the tiger chick at? Over here? Yeah. Is that tiger man? Yeah. And who's... And she's over here. Oh, dang. I should have done that earlier. Yeah. Okay. I want to take this one to do that. Uh -huh. Pay two granite uh -huh. to build a statue. Well, then you're not doing here. that one. You're doing the bottom one, right? What? No, it's one up here to build on that. Okay, yep, you're right. Oh, man, I'm dumb. Man, you're getting really far on those stupid statues. Build those so statue many, statues. So many victory build points, those statue bro. statues. They are, I should have built more last before the so scoring. Much, so much points. Uh, I've been falling down the 18xx rabbit hole pretty hard the last few months, so let me know if you guys want to carve out four to five hours for me to swing out and teach you sometime. I like the backdrop, by the way. Thanks. That no. was this was Emily's idea, not mine. XX. No. You should talk to Steve. <laughs> yeah, or Matt. If you, because you're vaccinated, right, sir? <laughs> None of our business, but. Well. Yes. Yeah. Maybe. Um. Hmm. I. Uh. Yeah. Um. Hmm. The Earth. Uh, Steve. Uh, Harvey. Um, okay. I'm going to take that. No. Yep. What are you doing with it? D I, d d d well, it doesn't matter what I'm doing with it. You're going to lose a happiness? You're getting bread. Yes, I'm losing a happiness. Right? Ooh, woo. I'll be down a happiness. And you're going to build? And I'm going to build. Parchment or bread? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to go in the white. Eat. Oh, yeah. I forgot you can go over there. <laughs> Give me a white, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Thank it's you. Josh. Man, yes, definitely. Another. I know it is. I just didn't know if I didn't want to say it on whatever. If you were upset about it, um, yeah, he has definitely said so. Sweet. Is uh, John? I think he was more amped about it than anyone. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take another one of these for my final die, bro. To build here. How do you keep on getting so many stone? 
Um, this one costs three, so there's three granite. This is stupid. Get out of my face. I'm building up here. Yep, I knew I'm it. getting a gold. God dang you. Back to that gold. That's where I was going to build. Gold! I hate you so much. Yeah! Um, yeah. Okay. Wait, you just took this action, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, so that means I get uh, two population. Wow. Yeah. Mm, okay. The whole Lancer group is good going in the vaccine department. Sweet. Um, That's awesome. I'm going to take this. Okay. Do I have a thing there? I do. Are you doing it for resources or the god action? God action. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I guess I'll take a granite, please. Three white <laughs> and a black. Let's build that one. So, here you go. Mm. And since it is in the gray area... Yep. You get the bonus on it, too. I'll get the bonus on it. So, I'm guessing to score a building? I don't know. Probably. One victory point times building times row <laughs> or something. What does it have a tile number or something on it? P O six. P O six. P, not a B. P. P. Papa. Papa. <laughs> He's like, you're gonna come and make Papa. P O six. Shaded. Score one additional victory point per building, not statue, belonging to any player in the same row and column. Okay. One cool. additional victory point for what? Per building? I don't in know. one column. So you can get one victory point. Hmm. Sure. <laughs> I'm, hmm. Uh, us Vax folks have been meeting up on Wednesdays the last few weeks to game in a while, so that's awesome, Panic. That's great. Um, I'm so happy people are getting back to that stuff again. I don't know what I want. Bro, side in. I don't really care about matching this, to be honest. Um, what color is that, Joe? Is that yellow? Underneath? Yeah. You got it. So that's a victory point. Uh, can I go there and make it? Yep. Is that still yellow? Yep. So I get two granite for underneath of it, right? Yep. Cool. And what? One victory point? Yep. For matching the side. Cool. And then one of these comes out. Yep. <laughs> oh, it's blank. We'll probably take that one out. It's like a bonus tile. I'm a, I don't know. There we go. They said take out number 20. Is that 20? I don't know. I don't know. Sure. We'll just take that yes, out. Yes, it is. That's great. I'm sorry people are getting back to, to gaming like, again. I think the US is at, what, like 64%? That's good. Whereabouts in Owasso? None of your business space, Danny. That's whereabout. Oh, <laughs> damn. Bam. Bam. Snipe. We at, need... at your mom's house. It's four die, Joe. Oh, wait, first. Okay, so. This is a mat phase. We turn, we mat. So, first thing we do with mat is remove the die. Well, tally up. Yeah. It's on perfect zero. I'm way in the positive. Okay. Like. Uh, seven. Seven positive, okay. So you're way out there. Seven positive. Okay. So, so let's remove the dice. Positive victory points so, that just means positive. I come here and you come here. Yeah. Nothing cool. changes. Um, what was next in the math phase? I'm trying to remember it. Oh, because you were perfect zero, you got to you yeah. got to be first player. Yeah. <sighs> um, next thing was I think we redraw draft the cards again. Yeah. I'm keeping this one for gold. Thank you very much. <laughs> Get out of my face. Um. Hmm. I'll take another one of these. Okay. Okay. Then we just finish the rotation phase. Okay. Two dice over to the right. I'm so desperate for the game, I think I'd even play with Monar. <laughs> wow. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't do anything hasty now, right? Yeah, I know. Both are... Wow, look at that. I go first? I guess. You guess? What does that mean? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and lose a happiness. I'm going to take this guy here. Mm. Mm. That's such a big resource push. I think I'm going to put it here. <laughs> yeah? To get two white. Do I want that? Yeah. Two white. 
Okay. I'll go up two on the white, and I can go up one of any. Is that what it says? Yeah, one of any resource. Oh, wow. I'll go, yeah, yeah, because that's victory points. Yep. <sighs> Son of a biscuit. Ah, oh, and you evened it out, you jerk. Yeah. Yeah. And I have the highest one, so. Your turn. <laughs> Watch this. I'm going to make it a five. Oh, <laughs> snap! <laughs> well, that, that this, yeah, this yes, turns yes. into a five and goes into your... <laughs> yeah. Was that good or bad? Or bad? It was here. Okay. Yeah, it was. We just got placed, right? Yeah. You oh, leave oh, the number. Oh, wait, wait. What, what is this again? What is this guy? Who's that? What do I get? Did you go down one, Joe? Yeah. I just went down one. Okay. So I get... I'll take two for me. And then... Uh, do I want three of those things, just in case? I have six positive already. I don't think I'm too worried about it. So I'm just going to get two more population. Damn. Thanks. Okay, yeah, so this is going out here. So you get two white. Yep, and I move up on the white? Yep, twice. All the way to the top. And this goes away, because you just used that, right? Yes. Alrighty then. Secures that three points for me. <laughs> domo, 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 domo. What well, sucks is there's gonna be no more dice in that area at all. Yep, it's dead. So, uh, really, for the end of the game. Yep. How many rounds do we go? For, like, how many? Oh, rounds? really? How many That's all, how many people do you have? Panic. You play Wednesdays at six at the Owasso Community Church. Oh, nice. If anyone's interested. How many rounds are we at, Joe? We're back to where we started. So, what is this? Eight. We're gonna two card the next map phase is the end of the game. Mm hmm. Wow. Mm hmm. Yep. Oh, man. That's I have rough. No bread. So I don't change this number. I leave it as a three, right? Or did you change yours? I changed mine to a five because it says you changed the die. Okay. So. I just wanted to make sure I just we were keeping it even. Yep. Even Steven, sir. Mm. <laughs> What's up? That's how I feel about this. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what you want to do either. <sighs> There's too many options in this game. For sure. What are these? Like, is that when your happiness gets there? Or your population? Uh... <laughs> I think it's population, but you keep on going with happiness. For well, the scoring trash. specifically said happiness, so mm. that's what the scoring said. What freaking track is that? Um, oh, guys, did you hear that Bitcoin took a huge hit? Because the ransom for that... Um, Spot, uh, ransomware attack on the whatever company. Um, the it was like billions of or millions of dollars. The FBI confiscated it, and it was all paid in Bitcoin. So the oh. FBI confiscated all that Bitcoin. You had six people last week. That's great. I have no idea, Joe. What about when you did that? Yeah. Is it maybe in the that? God's act? No, there's barely anything there. Oh. The first time your happiness marker reaches space 16 happiness. on the population track, receive one gold. Happiness? Oh my god. Dude, it's they really want you to be... Happy. We're happy! To parchment paper burning people, man. Yeah. I guess you're creating books? I don't know. Throwing books onto fires? It's ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna take this and just get four um, of this. Oops, that's a five. I don't want that. I forgot what I was doing. All right. Because I'm happy. When you take an Anubis action, or what's the, what's the one where you can take a die from anywhere, Joe? The Anubis. You anywhere, have to discard two scribes to do that. Or purchase that card. I got two scribes. Okay. Give me some stone. Give me stone over happiness every time. That's right. But then it goes. It doesn't go into your happy space. Like right. Sucks. It goes down below. 
But it doesn't count as negative either. It just goes yeah, yeah, yeah. nowhere. Huh. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know, bro. I just don't know. Um, man. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, dude, I do not know. What's that um, one in the top left, that building one? Is that a person? What do you mean top left? Of the, of the foundations. This? Yes. It's got the bird, this, and a die. So do you do that bird? Uh, P11. Alrighty, way past my bedtime. What? It's 920. <laughs> okay. You have a good night. Thanks for dropping in. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Josh wants to know what's wrong with you, though. P what? P20. Perform a Thoth God action to draw one card as if you had oh, taken a die so with value you, one. Okay. But that's right, so you're not going to get that. Oh, dang. Because uh, it's dark over there right now, so you need a one or two. Less. But you get two gold if you did the one or two. I don't I don't. <laughs> Steve! Dude, I do not know what to do here. If I build a thingy here, what does that give me? Just the gold? Doesn't it give you more scoring when it goes across, also? I think it did. Because it counts as a building, I think. Yeah, because it's remember. a building and thingy. Or a statue, yep. Maybe I'll do that. How do I build the, over there? You can't, because there's no... I can uh, do an Anubis action. Oh, yep, you can. It's just any die, and then you have to pay the cost of your... So you need four granite. Okay. Okay, so you can take a die from anywhere, technically, if you want. And use it there, right? Cool. Um, I don't know, bro. Um, what die is Joe gonna go for? Is the question. Who the heck knows at this point? Um, you have so much stuff. I dislike. <laughs> um, hmm. Panic, what kind of games? I'm guessing you just guys plays whatever, whatever people bring on Wednesdays. Um, and how long do, does everyone stay for? Is it like 6 to 9 or... 6 to 9! <laughs> so, so dumb! Got him. So dumb. Um, I'll take this or whatever, right? Okay. So you're going to pay some granite. Yeah, how much granite? Four? Yep. Okay, four granite. And you get but... to put a statue out for the first time. Yay. Uh, statue. Statue He's for the people! Here, for the people. That was, like, so mature and stuff. Thank you. I know. Dude, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. That's anymore. what people are here for. Mature content. Go ahead, Joe. You're done? Uh... Well, is there, oh, do I get a victory points for that for placing it or anything? I don't know. <laughs> for four, the it does say, I think you do, three victory points times pillar in that row or column. Ooh! Look at that. Let's let's make sure. Let's. I think you do. I don't know if you get the resources, too, or if you only get the victory oh, points. Okay. Who is that? Which god is that again? The bird? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> god. The flow of this book is it's so terrible. Bad. Just put him in alphabetical order. Horus. Um, build statues. Build a statue in honor of a god. We covered that already. That's what I've been doing. You're gonna want the one that's for. Build a statue area. for the people. There are two statue spaces at the temple complex. Two statue mm -hmm. spaces by the workshop and quarries in the Osiris Actionary. Mm -hmm. You can build a statue onto any of these spaces. In this case, the value of the die you use to perform the Horus God's action does not matter. After paying the required granite cost, take the leftmost statue from your player board and place it onto an empty statue space. Additionally, if the statue, if building a statue at the temple complex, score three victory points for each of your pillars in the same row or column. Okay, cool. So six. These statues provide scoring benefits in place of action bonuses. Okay, cool. cool. Got it. Your turn. Wait, was I supposed to score victory points when I built my statues there? Probably. 
probably. After paying the... Take the left. That's at the temple complex. I don't think it does. <laughs> there are two statue spaces by the temple complex and two statues by the workshops. Of course, you can build a statue into any of these spaces. In this case, the value of the die you use it does not matter. After paying the required... Yeah, because it doesn't show anything for that one. Yep. You're right. True. Okay. Cool. You just get the highest point on those. You love that the rule book is the same length as a trade paperback? Yeah, I've read books shorter than this. Oh, dude, it's so bad. Uh, we were working through our shelf of shame. We have went as late as 11 before. Ooh. Ooh. That's nice. Um, I meant to write a Wasso City Church. Okay. Love that. Yeah. Okay. What nights do they meet? Wednesday, Wednesday at 6. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm just my getting... son's my son's in baseball right now and he has games every Wednesday night, but that ends next week I think. So I'm just maybe. getting I get home after picking my kids up from babysitter like at five forty five. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, we're we're done right. Sadly, more dice. Just like over here first. Sure. You can tell which actions we like and which ones there we don't. <laughs> We have not, like, went here at all. I know. Wait. In or really here that much. Okay. I went there once. You went there once. Have you been using this? No. I should get one more victory point for this yeah. round, at least. I, I think you had, what, like, two last round? I, at least I two I did. Dice. It was even. I think you had two dice. Give yourself two more victory points. All right. Thanks, sir. I completely forgot that I had technology. Yeah. See, the cards don't need to be here. No. <laughs> we have barely used them. And even if we do try, <laughs> we forget about the stupid things. Uh, you can take opposite god actions when that's, taking a die. That's insane. That's once, though. <laughs> that's one time. That's not okay. a technology. Yep, yep. Um... Stupid, stupid, stupid. All right. I knew I was going to do something with this. Then were you? Yep. What am I going to do with it, though? I don't know. I don't know what you're doing, bruh. Bruh. I want to build it. I just don't know where I want to build it. We really have one option. I guess I have two options. You have two. You can build it up here. That's where I'm going to build it. I'm going to take the six... Get the victory point for taking a good die. Mm -hmm. Spend my four granite. That's so ridiculous. That's so many. How many points is that, bro? For all Twenty-one. Those? That's so wild. To get another gold. That's my. That's my turn. Bro, side in. Boom! All my statues are built. Bro, side in. We gotta do this when we. Ah, yeah. I got my hunky boy shirt on. Man. What? Okay. If you haven't watched Psycho Gorman, highly rate it. Best movie of the last three years. I'm going to pick up this die. Two years. Last two years. Right? That's a two. Sure. Where'd so. you get it from? Up here. Oh. And it's you dark, want to, too. We weren't doing the victory points on those at the top. You get victory points when you build them? Yeah, at the tops. <gasps> wow. You built the left one twice in the middle one once <laughs> yeah so that's eight victory points nine with that new one yeah so that would bring me up to 44. 44 okay wow those are way too powerful yeah um <laughs> <laughs> that's insane amount of victory so points. i'm gonna do in a gold so those go over there this goes here okay this is a And it's during the dark day, so I get the two, two gold. Two more gold. Wow. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. These move left, don't they? Yeah. It makes sense to probably uh, place it in this row. Yep. To make one row a long row. Yep. And I get a victory point, right, for matching. Yep. And two... Oh, yep. you got that stuff for you. Okay. Two granite. And a victory point. Or is it two victory points? What? Probably just one. It's just one for matching a side. It was two yeah, if you did, did the, did corners, the corners, remember? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Put a put a pillar out there. My pillars are upside down or backwards and all sorts of craziness. Is Jonah still up upstairs just chilling? Playing Fortnite. Yeah. Fortnite. 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 Rick and Morty's in the new pack. Well, 
Mor- Rick is. Morty is a pickaxe. That's ha- funny. Hammerhead Morty is Rick's pickaxe that, that you can that's, get. That's funny. Yeah. Is it paid for, or...? Well, it's the battle pass. Oh, gotcha. Part of the battle pass. Okay. But they did some new thing now where you get stars, and then you choose what you unlock, and then once you've... Jonah said once you... There's different pages... So once you've unlocked five things from the first page, it unlocks the second page, and then you can unlock stuff uh, from there. And what he said, oh, this YouTuber said that you can spend 12,000 V-Bucks, 12,000, not 1,200, and get all the stars needed to unlock everything. I was like, well, you can always just unlock the entire battle pass by paying. Yeah. I was like, don't you dare spend yeah, V-Bucks, because you just get you get five stars every time you level up or yeah, something like just, that. Just, so. just play the game, and you'll naturally... Does yeah. he hit the, the max every, he every got, time? He usually gets about 180-ish. The first time, the first Battle Pass he ever played, he was like 300 and something. Yeah, so he doesn't but need to worry about that. Now he plays a lot of um, creative. He doesn't play as much. Oh, because you're also, going through custom maps yeah, and stuff. And he and also yeah. takes breaks and does Save the World, because it <coughs> included with PlayStation Plus. I like Save so, the World. Yeah, he likes that a lot. That was your turn? Yeah. I am going to use this guy to turn this into a 2. So give me a victory point because it's a good one. I hate you. I want to not die. And I'll get two bread, please. You have bread. Which is what I need to feed my people. You have gold. Mm, no, they don't eat my gold. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm assuming no. you have a card for gold. Yep. Yeah, makes sense. Yep. Um, I don't know what to do. Really, at this point. <sighs> so space dandy, panic, kitty. Y'all excited for anything on Kickstarter? Kitty, have you tried Outlast yet? <laughs> Outlast is a video game. A very... Panic knows what it is. He played it. Kitty streams as well. She streams video games. She's fun to watch. If you guys uh, give her a follow. She's really cool. Um, she does a spooky... Well, she calls it Spoopy Saturday, where she plays scary games. Um, Outlast was on the Humble Bundle this week. So, for like two bucks. And I told her, if I ever see it go on sale, I'm going to grab it for her. So, I got to buy it and donate the money to charity. Nice. So, she got a copy of Outlast, but she has to play it. And All that right. game's horrible. <laughs> I absolutely hate that game. So, it wasn't really a gift, really. It was a curse. Um, kind of like this rule book. Boom! Brought it back. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. This is pretty much my last turn, man. It, yeah, it is. Definitely. It is your last turn. This is the end of the game. I guess it makes sense to build a house, right? No, Probably for I'm, you. Then I'm out of food. Oh, yeah. Uh, you have gold? I do. Ooh. But you're going to need... I think it adds up, right? So you need. You already need four food. Four food, yeah. If you build one more, you need six. Yeah. And that's negative... Three for every food, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, That's negative eighteen points if you don't have food. Yeah. So. Or gold. Um, hmm. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. right now I'm good with food. <laughs> uh, hey. any... Oh yeah, because you have a gold. Yeah. Is there any way I'm getting victory points at this point? Uh, Build another, but you don't have any no, white. No, no white. Yeah. Do you have? You do have gold. This one's one black and two white. Yeah, but then that would be one short, so it'd be negative three. And I mean, that's it not gives the, you... and that's not the number though. <laughs> oh right, yeah. yeah, it's a two. Yeah. So you know. <laughs> mhm. It's uh, it's one of these things, man. How do I? Think you. I... Right? It's like, what do you do at this point? I forget. I kept forgetting my bonuses I have for these stupid statues out there, too, I think. Yeah, Whatever. Probably. I mean... Thanks for following, Panic. You did this one a decent amount. I tried to make sure to do that one for yeah. you. Yeah. Um, and then you started doing the... You did the top one. So you just did this last round, right? Yeah. So and I should. didn't take a granite or a... Yeah, you should have taken I'll just take one of these. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I bet you'd like to have one of these. <laughs> I mean, I need four of them, realistically. I know. Um, I mean, I don't... You could build... Well, you don't have granite, so you can't build... Well, you have two granite. That's not enough to build one of your... No, you need three. three. Well, you have two and a gold, right? Yeah. So you could take this and build 
a statue and get victory points. You can build, or is there already one there? No, there's not one. You'd build it right there on her. Okay, but that's a negative four. Yeah. Brings me down a negative one. That's fine. You don't get negative points for that. Yeah, I know. Um. Or you, could, if you have paper, you could bring your happiness up. Yeah, but, but that it's not gonna do anything, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, that's probably the best idea is to granite it. So the four. Three granite. And that'll go over here. Was this a good or bad? Bad. Yeah, that sucks, but whatever. Okay. Neat! <laughs> okay. Alright, so Jesus. we rotated it. You gotta follow it in order. Go girl. to the map. And the map. Nope, you gotta go to round first. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get freaking right place in the rule book again. <laughs> like round, map, score. This is set up, so I went back too far. We yeah. went to plaid. I'm telling you, there's no okay. order. We rotated. Now we go to Matt. Okay. We do the balance. Yeah. I am positive... Positive 10. <laughs> okay, I'm negative 1. Okay. Okay. Uh, we did the imbalance. Move all the player mat. Blah, blah, blah. blah all players... Place their mat in the turn order track. Oh, wow. So you get to go first. Oh. And here's the thing. We do this again, it says. Oh, wow. Before we go to scoring. Really? Yep. Wow. Uh, I might as well gain a gold then, right? Yeah. Gold, please, I guess. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, these aren't resources, right? Um, go. Just in case that's a yeah, tiebreaker. Yeah, you never know, I, man. I don't think I'm going to tie you, but okay. Scoring. Okay, now it says go to scoring. I mean, you're getting 21 off of that thing, so you're catching up to 41. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. But this okay. is what's going to win it for me, I think. I think so, too. That's going to be a ton of points. Okay, every two... Da, 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 da. Scoring is performed during every second map phase. For each of the four resource districts over here, we do that scoring again. So, you get three nope, nope we're tied so i get three yeah three so that's six that's 12 right yep, actually because i no you beat me here because yep. you have four yep. so i get nine you get three so one two three up to 29 yeah <laughs> dang it that was close <laughs> it was okay 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 so now for each player score the temple complex as follows each building and statue around the temple is worth one so i get three and i get two yeah all right i got some points okay um, each pillar within the temple complex scores one victory point per building and statue belonging to the player in the same row. So this would be two, two four, four six, six, and this would be seven, seven eight. eight. Yep. Something that's not as much as I thought it was nope, going to be, actually. thought that was going to be a lot more. We thought it was three, didn't we? But that's only when you yep. play something. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Each player scores one, three, seven, blah, 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 victory points for every statue's built. So I get 21, and you get... Three. Yep. And I go up to 52. Okay. Okay. Each player scores three victory points for each Dorito that their no, happiness no. markers made it fast. <laughs> each player... That's so little. Like... Yeah. Like, even if you're up here, that's only... I guess that's 15. That's Why? a little bit more. Um, each player scores two victory points per production marker, so we each get two there, because we have one at, each have one at the top. Each player scores the sum of any victory points. Do you say points. two or one? Two. Yeah, I think I, I don't even that. I don't even know. What were you at? You were at fifty-two. Then yeah. fifty-four. Okay, it was at sixty-two, sixty-four. Okay. Each player scores the sum of any victory points visible on their building row. So you get two. Two. Finally, each player must pay the sum of all bread amount visible. I have two bread to pay. Four. So I'm paying gold. Okay. Here, that's this all to your side. Wow. Okay. Then we have these, don't we? Yep. Think After we scoring, remove the scoring marker from the board. See, I think we should have done this at a certain time because it's gain of number of VP equal to half of the total value of the pure dice rounded up. Oh. But. So, I don't understand that. So you take how you you wanted a bunch of pure dice this one, Josh. Yep, I know. But there was gonna, there was you're gonna divide it by two and then yeah. take get that many victory points. I think so two. Yeah, <laughs> round it up. So three. Okay. 
Um, we're gonna wait until the, we get there. This is the last second, or this is the second and final. We now reveal our decrees. Yeah. Mine's really good. <laughs> yeah, you got it's it. one. It's one for every extra resource, or two for every extra gold wow. that I have left over. Max of twenty victory points, though. You might catch me, sir. Um, each player now reveals their decrees. They have including a decree chosen at the start of the game. A player can score up to three decrees total, wow. but no more than one decree per type. So I get three, you said? We're not one, playing Caro. Two, Sorry, three. Streamlabs, okay. you silly, silly boy. Okay, do your math. Okay, the player whose mat marker is first on the turn order track scores three victory points. Wow, you get three victory points for being first? <laughs> wow. Two, four, six, eight, ten... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 victory wow. points. Wow, what does that bring you to? That's 64 plus 8 is 72. No crap. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> no crap. Are you sure? Now you gotta score yours though. Did you already add yours? I did. Oh I did my gosh. My six. And that, and the, or I added my 3 and the 3. The game is player. now over. The player with the most victory points wins. In the case of tie, the tie player with the highest total number of scribes is the winner. Do you have any scribes? No. In the case of a further tie, the tie player whose mat marker is first. Are you kidding me? You win because you're in first place? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's like if you go too far, it's whoever's. You know what? I use my scribe to. No. To bring my, my bread thing down so I didn't have extra bread. And it didn't even matter. So I would have had a scribe left over yep, and won. Would have won the I, that was, I can't believe it's that close, though. I can't believe we got the Jesus. same exact score. That's Especially wild. considering you were 30 points ahead, or yeah. 20 points ahead of me at the beginning. Holy cow, good first game. Yeah. This was amazing. Yeah, I wish I would have had more done at the beginning. I thought but... this was going to do much better. It helped, but man. You need to place more houses, I guess. Well, the problem is, is in a two-player, you can't double. So oh, that's right. You can't. You can't you? double dip because it's in a four-player game only. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. So we could only do the inside track. Wow. That is wild. Mm-hmm. I'll just call that a tie, realistically. Yeah. Yeah. That was really good. Really good game. Hmm. You can see. I don't understand the point of happiness. I guess if you wanted to go. You get better cards. Great have, for cards. Yeah, you have more cards, which I guess give you more actions or more options. I mean, okay, think of it this way: if we were playing with four people, this might look at how much we filled up with this already. Well, dice and areas would end up emptying out faster. And you would have to take some of these other ones. Yeah, yeah. like that's going to be more full. Well, you're putting four dice out. Well, yeah, it's still going to be pretty empty though. Yeah. Because there's going to be more dice off the board. Yeah. So it's just another route you can go and get victory points. If you can get your happiness and your, your population way up at the it's, beginning. And it's three times your Dorito, yeah. Yeah, times your Dorito. I love it. <laughs> Officially Dorito. So if you can get all the way to the end, I mean, you can get 15 victory points each round. That's a, that's a that's hustle to get that. Because you have to build buildings you, to get it up. And, and you have to have your people up because your happiness can't go above Higher your than your population, population, yeah. So you have to build buildings. Yep, build buildings. Which takes... Bread. A lot of bread. Bread, yes. But you could, if you got a six here, you could put that here at the beginning. Yeah, and, and then go, go three. one, two, three, and yeah. then get just take all the bread. Yeah. But then no one else is built. Like, how is anyone else getting bread then, or gold? I guess, but I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting. It balances itself out for being so much going on. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we both kind of did this track a bit, you about the same amount. Yep. I went crazy on stage. What's crazy you, though is I didn't there. really use it. Like I don't feel like I gained that many resources via resource no, die. No, the only one I ever did was granite and bread. Like I did the bread the one time just to get the four bread, mm -hmm. so then I could build up there. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you had to rate it, what would you rate it? Or do you not want to do that? I don't care. Uh, I don't, I don't care. A rule book alone, like a. Two. <laughs> That's a two rule book. That is uh, probably one of the more. It's not badly written. It's badly ordered. Yeah. It's just. It's, it's not. It's not in a. It's a poor order. It's not functionally. I mean, it's. So it tells you what you can do on your turn, and then it tells you what every single area does. 
but it doesn't tell you like how they interact with each other. No. Like you have to figure out where all that stuff is. Like that stuff's missing, but it hurts my brain. It's a good game. I'm glad I got it for free. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's um, a good game, but I'm glad I didn't pay for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, dude, I don't know. We don't have this to rate is... it. It's fine. No, we could rate it. Um, that's uh, what's tough. the other one? What's the, what's the original? Because there was another game that Geo to walk on. I think I like. Does he walk on have cards too? That's the one with the Mojang, and it's a Rondell game. Is it? I don't know. I guess I don't know if I could say which one I, if I liked one better than the other. It's been so long know. since we played yeah. Tia on. I enjoyed this game. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, yeah, it was good. good I don't game. think I would like it with four people. No. Because. It, would take it took a long time forever. with just the two of us in between turns. Could you imagine if you had to wait for three other people oh to figure out what they God. were doing? Yeah, that would uh, nightmare that would, world. That would suck so bad. I don't know what this was. You know, you see this? There. I don't. What is that? Is that if someone got to eighty-five on the score track, they got that what? piece of gold? Uh, that piece of, I have no we idea. Never, what we never, we never got rid of that for. piece of gold. I don't know. I don't know what that gold is for. To be honest, I don't. I mean, it said to put it there. I'm, I'm sure it's for something. Yeah, I'm sure there's a rule somewhere hidden in the book about how you get that gold. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Um, I don't know. This is a, like a good solid seven, I guess. If you're going from five being even, like I enjoyed this game. Mm -hmm. Um, the rule book sucked buttholes, but um, other than that, I think it's a very it's a big game. It's very large. It has definitely table presence, which is always good. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, this is neat. Once we got the flow of the Completely game. Completely unnecessary. Yes. But neat. I mean, it makes sense. It's casting shadows, but it doesn't make sense why it's spinning. It's not like the sun well, does a circle. Well, it's not it. spinning. It's the sun supposed to be moving around. Yes. That's like time passing, yeah, right? So, yeah. But you're right. It doesn't just become light. <laughs> and dark. Unless <laughs> like, this is the entire world, I guess. Yeah. yeah. You know. Okay. Um... Yeah, I would give this a good 7. I would say maybe even a, a 7.5. I enjoyed it. Once we got the hang of it, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Like, like... I, I noticed that the first... Couple be rounds Before we got to the first mat phase, it took us forever. Yeah, because we but just... But once we figured out what everything cause was... Because we had to kind of learn. Like, mm -hmm. what? What? That, that doesn't make sense. Oh, that makes more sense. Oh, okay. Yeah. Even reading the rules and watching videos. What are these bags? Yeah, I know. Do you have a bunch of bags? Oh, they're all Yeah, up there's there. a million bags okay. up there. I was like, what are these? I never placed a single one of these. Pillars. That's no. funny. No, you didn't. Yeah, okay, yeah. So that's, uh, that's, that's Tekinu. So that's Obelisk a of the Sun. 7.5 average. Yeah, because I would say I was going to give it about the same exact thing you were. Yeah. It, it felt good. Yeah, it I feels good. It. It, it... I would not want to play this with four people, though. Oh, that that man. seems like a nightmare to me. Um, Especially for people that have, like, AP problems at all. Like, it would be... That would be rough. What are you doing? <laughs> I was covering you up with the obelisk of the what sun. What are you doing? <laughs> like, Alright. We're going to go ahead and end the stream. Thanks, for everyone, for hanging out. Yes. Um, I don't... Ah, Streamlabs! What's wrong with you? Why don't you know what we're playing? Because I didn't update you. That's why. Um... It's it's still from last week. That's funny. Uh, yeah, thanks everyone for hanging out. It was a longer night, but hey. I, I, I didn't mind longer night. I mean, we don't really get to play longer games really that often. Nope. So it was kind of refreshing. Yep. So we'll probably be... I'm planning on an eight-hour birthday stream on the 19th. You guys are invited if you want to hop on for a bit. Cool. Like, uh, digital? Digitally gaming? Or do you want us to, like, hop on and chit-chat with you? When's the 18th? When's the 19th? 19th. Oh my gosh. What's today? The 9th. So it's like next... That's like Father's Day? Is that the yeah, Sunday of Father's Day? When's Father's Day? It's, in, it's a week from Sunday. <sighs> Do I get to buy myself that a gift for Father's Day? It is a Saturday, so it's the day before Father's Day. Gotcha. I get my... I get uh, my... Second, uh, second that is my father-in-law's birthday i think we're just going over for like lunch or something or it's not going to be anything long so i have no idea what we're doing i don't know so it's saturday i i'm probably gonna buy myself something <laughs> and waste some money 
stuff I don't need. I guess big bag for like I'm Yeah. You're doing both digital and tabletop. Dang. Whoa. Look at you switching it back and forth, huh? Nice. Well, if you, if I mean, if you're looking for people or whatever, or need people to play a game, I guess let us know, and yeah, I can figure out if I'll actually be free at all, or I can try and I'll try and hop on to the stream either way, though. Are you doing little bags for all these little things? Is yeah. There enough little bags. Yeah, everything was separate. So yeah, just hit me up, Panic. 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Oh, who wakes up at 10 a.m. on a Saturday? No. No. I'm already up at like 7. Yeah, so. I was going to say, I have a baby <laughs> that eats at 5 a.m., so I am away. The baby that eats at 5 a.m. is just Josh. It is. <laughs> I need bacon. <laughs> I need bacon. I like to wake up to the smell of crackling bacon. I'm an idiot. I forgot to put the, the board. board. Yeah, I, I was gonna, wasn't going to say anything. <sighs> but... Um, Can I get some of those bags and put some of these on? Oh, I, I guess. can't reach them. The board's too big. <laughs> Okay, cool. Definitely. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap up for tonight. Again, thank you guys for hanging out with us all night. Um, yes, yes. Thanks, Panic, for going and following Kitty. Appreciate you showing her some love. Um, and you can catch her watch play Outlast this weekend and be scared like I was. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. So everyone have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Until next time, my name is Joe. I'm Josh. <laughs> And you've been watching down to that. Bye. Separate. Bye. Oh, raid. Yeah, wow. That's a good idea. Steve. Steve. Space Dandy Steve. And we're going to raid. Yeah, let's find someone. Panic. Who should we raid? You know everyone. Yeah, he does. He's friends with uh... half of them. Are you just giving me random bags that aren't even part of this game? I don't want Twitter. I want Twitch. Same thing. I didn't know about that Bitcoin dropping. I haven't really watched it today. I try not to watch it every single day or it stresses me out. Yeah, don't watch it today. You'll be sad. Because <laughs> usually when Bitcoin dips, I guess it Ethereum, dropped like 10% today. So. When Bitcoin dips, Ethereum dips. Yeah, it, it was both of them dropped because yeah. of that. Yep. Okay, let's see here. Brothers Murph, what did uh, Panic say here? Games of Fire. Games of Fire. Let's find them. There's down the vent. What game next is streaming? Oh my god, there's so many people streaming board games now. Remember when it used to be like three? Yeah. Man. Weird. Games of player. Two player Tuesday to Kaido. Nice. I like their alliteration, so we'll go with them. Alright, let's do this. Let's get a raid going here. Raid channel, games of fire. Look at that, that works, Joe. Bam. Oh. Alright, everyone. I love you. We'll be raiding in eight seconds, so yeah. Uh, thanks again, everyone. Have a good night. And as Josh said, we love you. Two, one. Raid now. We get a bonus and anything over 3% we get double, so we did like 3.2%, so we get 6.4% profit sharing. Mm -hmm. So I get 6% of the profit sharing. Wow. I mean, I was only working there for half the year, so... Oh, yeah. And then in January or whatever, or no, February, we got 7%, so for the year we got like a total of 14%. For 2020, I got 14% profit sharing. Wow. And this year, they said it's looking good also, so um, hopefully, since I'll be here for a whole entire year, you know, profit sharing should be nice for next year. I figured anything like 10% would probably be nice. You know, 10% of your income based is a bonus. I mean, and then Christmas is how many every year you're there is a percentage. For Christmas bonus up to 10%. So if you've been there for 10 years, you get 10%. So really, this this year, if you were there for 10 years, 
you need 24% of your yearly income, yearly and, income bonuses. and bonuses. Wow. Ouch. Wait, I need to end stream. <laughs>